Shas, I was my own personal goddess. I did, I, I wasn't, uh, I just took the words of the Rebbe, the words of, that I was taught in Baramunah, uh, Babitochen, Batrachgut, Vazangut, about the power of the Tater Mitzvahs, about the, the, who I really am, I'm a Yid, not, uh, not thinking about all things that the Yisrael wants to bring into your head, pushing them away. In, in, in short, I took the words of Tayyip literally. In other words, we have everybody today is focused on the Sikha that we have to hear Chavchas. Listen, now it's Tafshin Nun Aleph, Tayyip Tafshin Pei Aleph. And uh, amazingly, Zabba starts the Sikha off, everybody focuses on these clips. So, um, at the, at the end of the Sikha, the beginning of the Sikha, Zabba starts off talking about Arenu and the first Arenu. And, and uh, the idea that it has to be Arenu, that for Zabba, they have been there on Eagle, but talking. The whole thing for talking is to be It's not enough that Muna that uh, that the Ebrish does, does is good, and therefore uh, uh, we are we're able to uh, go through the pain. But rather, we have to have the the Arenu. Um, and now we're today with Tafshim Pei Aleph, also Ploys Arenu, and it comes if and even from we should see the Ploys, and this is not just what we made up. It's actually actually brought down a sikh from there about Ploys Arenu, amazingly. So the idea is to look at the words of uh, what learning Tera and take it for 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 uh, with a pshutas that this is an emes, not allowing outside the ideas coming in, a questioning and, and asking, and and forget and and, and and this is about for a few minutes I have over here. I'd like to share with you a few thoughts. For, for first, focus on the sicha that we just said. The plus I don't know. The second thing is. Uh, along with the with the heavy uh, the hard words they hear that uh, the Rebbe says that everything was helpful, I mean that, that's such painful much crying words. The Rebbe worked so hard and gave him such mitzvahs nefesh to everybody. Mitzvahs nefesh. It means giving away from his own time. But the Rebbe could have been growing in his own by himself. Gave, my mom just gave away from himself to every single year. And he says, the only explanation could be because when you're talking about something which is the primus aratzen, something which is the essence of everything, if, if the essence is there, you have it. If the essence is not there, you can't say, I got, I got part of it. I actually, the Rebbe says, even the goal is, goal is even goal is primi, that there's Hashem. It, it, the, the, the idea, we have to get the essence of all we're doing in Shlichas, and all we're doing in Afas Mayanas Futsa, has to be to be Moshiach, and along with the with the simcha of being successful in in in, in, in daily aveda, there has to be the knowledge and the heavy, the hard heart and the knowledge. That if, as long as Moshiach doesn't come, it hasn't come yet. If I comes and the Mitzvah will come today, um, we are there, there's there's an aspect of heavy There has to be the the, the it's like a businessman. If he, ha, he has to make a profit at the end of the day, if, if without that, all the business that he's in. Is it doesn't make him a businessman. He has to come up with with, with what the themes of of everything is. So so is, and one more point is there has to be eight is a tell you uh, in, in the few short words that ever says over there, he, he that does put in there should be eight is a tell take it came the tikkun. So the focus as should be not only a came the tikkun, but has to also be you have to ask yourself, is that is it eight is a tell Meaning is it strong eight is that were very connected with Abish is it is it eight is that that are stronger above and beyond the Hakbolas that we're living in. And this is the way we bring Mashiach. So, and obviously, finally, 2000, that Gosh is that Fashim, that Fashiton, and, and uh, in, in Tatum is. So, I want to start off with a, with a, with a story that, that, uh, um, that I ever said about the beginning of the Messias about the Rebbe Ayatz, and um, when he was in, in, in prison in Tafesh Pezayan. And he describes, look at the Buddha, he describes uh, in very, very detail, he describes um, the Seder Hayyim in prison. Obviously, these type of stories, if look, 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 going through the Buddha, for me, there's a lifeline. And, uh, how, and um, so the, the, and, and, and if you, if he describes how one of the things they do in Russia, and actually do in America also in jails, they take away from you the, the, the watch. Amazingly, they don't give you a watch. It, it, the Rebbe explains this is because they want to feel, make you feel subjugated. They want to overcome you. And, and in America, they, get, they do also very sophisticated ways to make you feel less of a person, less to become institutionalized, but it's it. So um, um, the Rebbe goes the whole, so how did Rebbe figure out to say that I am? So the, through, how, did, how did he know the time? So he writes, but, but Protius, they figured out the time to say that I am. 
that he knew in the morning that Moshe they brought the hot water to the people, so they he knew it was six o'clock. So 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 um, then the Reb, the Reb goes into the Reb goes into the whole discussion about Moshe Rabbeinu when he was in Har Sinai. How did he know the time when Elam has it? He was above Hechafim uh, Welt. So he says, but Malachim saying Kaddish, 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 or Malachim saying Baruch Hashem, Baruch Kibbid, Baruch Hashem Kibbid, is, is um, that's the way he knew what was the night, night and day. So uh, this is this is what the Rebbe Ayat writes in Kutli, but in the question, the Rebbe asks, Apostle Shailat, you're talking about two opposites total. One side, the Rebbe started describing a, a place called prison, a jail, prison, whatever that thing, and Kastarama, a, a, a place of the lowest of deaths, and here, Mitham the Rebbe gives a, a switch to talking about the highest of heights, Meshir Rabbeinu and Hasinai, where he's above the world. What's, what's the movement of the thing? And the explanation is Parshat the, the way a person, the way a person is able to overcome, a person who finds himself in goals, or finds himself any, any limitation, any, any, any difficulty first surprise himself as a goal, Panimia goes from the outside, who's, who's not in goals today in, in that respect? Or, or, or the ghost tries to swallow him up. So, so if, if, if how do you get out of this? How do you get out of it? The place of prison. How do you pick yourself up? The answer is look at this. Uh, look at the matter about the took away your watch. You don't know time. Don't focus on the matter where you see it here. Look at it as it's the Milo. Look at how it would look in, in Kedusha. The way everything originates. Look at where, where it starts from. And by focusing there, then you can pick yourself out. Of the, the, the pillar of it's not. I can tell you personally, and this is obviously the time is not uh, is not here for for a detailed elaboration. Of it, of it personally, this is mamish the way it works. It's not something which you learn in a, in a, in a, in a, in a chesidus uh, shir or you mamish chesidus, and then you think it's a, it's, it's a hypothetical. When you take and you, you could be in the most lowest of places, but you take whatever you're living through and you put it in what you said. Tzadik Moshe Rabbeinu, on Har Sinai, mitzvah more than Har Sinai. And with them all the time and the, all the pain you're suffering is, tra- is transformed. This is what happens living with Gula. Living with Gula means don't look at the Gula as, as a Gula as a punishment in the Shvedakite. Look at the look at the whole thing where it starts from and, and, and how it's kind of Lachandov made. How you can not be living Gula in Gulas, but talk, uh, getting out of the Gula, which, which is and how. So the answer is uh, like an alternative says in Tanya. He covered the Lachadov and made a few say, say, what's this based on? How can we cut it? Whatever. The Alphadav, the kids, sir, he says, because you have an Ashamba, because you have the Kaychas, Bemis, the Abbas Hashem, Yiddish Hashem, you're looking for. Is, is Bemis within you? Elamayat to me, we got it. So we talk about Mashiach, everybody hears the word Mashiach, right away you transform this to something way beyond me. Of Bemis, it's Mamish within us. And, and uh, I'm not sure, I can't, I didn't listen to the previous uh, Fabrengas. Uh, but I, uh, I'm sure somebody mentioned it, but he has it again. There's a member standing by Fabringen, and the Rebbe asked a question. Uh, you know, one of the, one of the fillers that's very close, and I speak, ask many people, and Shosh Golem, he say he wrote them by Psychosom. So, yes, it's Kayim Bonu Mishka Shakosom. Right? So, everybody, as a young Bacher, as a, as a, you know, not only Yes, for Gashmi, Yes, for Ruchnis, Ruch Dazis Hashem, Ruch Esugvuro, Maybe it's a, 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 a bit of a of a, a, of uplift to get over there and, and, and follow the safe areas. So so where, the the is who is who is this person going on? I'm a shiach. And, and, and it's, it's the after that we read the Akash Pesach. So so the Rabbi asks, how do we say in front of a Sivatera, we sky in Bonu? When, when, what do you, you want to be Mashiach? Well, this is a, a request to become Mashiach. Well, what's going on over here? Maybe you want to say you should have Ruch, you want to have, you want to have the Ruch, uh, is uh, uh, good, but where, where, who come to this kind of Mikra Shakosov? Elamai, the answer is because every year does have a, a, a chilek, a nitzutz of, 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 of Mashiach. In which way? Every year has in the Shama, the Shama there are five parts, and the Shama Shama Chai Yechida, and the Mela. He awakens Klal Yisrael, and 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 every yid has that yichida. When Meila mitzad that yichida can be better than Meibush and Azol Megalos and that Geul the kapat that's never never in Golos. So if you find yourself in a place called prison, you find yourself in Golos. How do you get out of Golos? You can't do Golos like things and get out of Golos. 
Pare had it, Pare had the Eden tied up every which way because I eat, nobody can get out of there. In time, you can't get out. You need Abish in the Malam to get out of Argolis. So, uh, so what's that? What's that? How you get out of Argolis? You have to, you have to connect to the part of yourself that's not in Argolis. And what's that? You're in Shomer. And more specifically, your Chiddushim is in Shomer. That, that part of you in Shomer, which is taka not in Argolis. If you start living with that part of you in Shomer, so the right answer that, then the next question is how you live with Yechida. What is Yechida? But so you learn and you find that Yechida means the part of the neshama. Yechida is called Yechida. is called Yechida because it's 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 Yechida with Eibush. It's always one of the Eibush. There's parts of the neshama. You're machshav di b'lemaisa. You're seichel amidus. The parts even you retain this. The parts are parts of your, of your neshama that could be fadrate uh, and 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 caught up or be at least ma'urav mixed up with ra. So if you're going to rely on your seichel, on your on your midis, and no matter how good you learn, how good you understand, if you rely on that to build your uh, to get out get out of your goals, you 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 you're not going to succeed because that part of that part it may. A component you can't do it a lot with that alone. You have to go you, that, that can you can. In there, you see that it's as if the important rabbi explains over there that battery starts of rabbi, even the person could be in in a, in a matter of they think he's uh, there could be a makara that could be mixed into seichel, and that's where machlekes and come from. Uh, the rabbi says, and that there could be a, 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 a things that comes in, but when you work with yichida, then you never make a mistake because yichida means that part of your neshama that says azay azay unitandish. That means if it's getlachkeit, I'm with it. If it's not getlachkeit, I'm not there. That's a simple, a simple thing. So you always, if, that's very easy to see. You look in Shulchan Aruch. Look, look at my, two thousand kent. We come to my side of pale, you can't, in Svaras comes the dingen. We come to my side of pale, we come to Machlekes. There's no, there's no reason for Machlekes. Machlekes is not going to get you anywhere. It only, it only, it only degrades everybody. That's an avish Hashem. The avish Yisrael, you get somewhere. Akoponim, Yechida means living with the avish in every, any way which you can. So you're seichel, you, you dedicate to learning Tere. Your midis, you dedicate to helping your Yid, Avish Hashem, Yid Hashem. And but what's the foundation of it? What, what is the, what, how do you, how do you, uh, um, uh, what's the foundation of your seichel? That is the Yechida, that, that deep connection with the avish How do you regale Yechida? How do you see that you're working with Yechida, you work with seichel and midis? Yeah, so, so the answer is, that's my path to Tzavis, that's clearly, that Mr. Nefesh, when you do a mitzvah hidda, we're not making chokhmas, yeah, but, but you, have a, you have a challenge, you have a challenge, and that challenge is as met with a clearer way that's, that's the hidda mitzvah, and, and for that language, that that's your hidda uh, uh, working. And you don't, you're not to look for, for ways to soften up your connection with the English, that that's your hidda. I want I wanted to share there's a there's a Maimon Taylor Aid. There's a small the small piece of the Al Rebbe explains the the and this was pressure to bring out what the is, where you can have two opposites. When the person only is going one direction, only only only, only cut into one calf, then it's very possible that that calf is his own thing. His own that's his only tears. It's not it's not really But when he when he's able to to do two calves, then that's a, that comes taka from the embers. He's taka connected with Eibush. Then he's doing good taka with his yichida. So where, where do you see that? So the Maaseh, the other of it brings it in the Gemara. The other brings the Maaseh the Bchibur Tradin. There's one that I started with Malchus, and he met, and he visited his Rebbe the Rebbe in Kismo, who was sick, and the Bchibur Tradin was was burnt. Yeah, so we say that in Kippur, he was burnt uh, with a sefer Torah. Because he was he, he was uh, learning Tater Barabim, and then and then the the Romans were were uh, were uh, prohibited. They had the shoes closed, they were flattening a curve, it seems like, and that the shoes closed, they couldn't learn. So so uh, it was dangerous; you can get killed. So the 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 Bereisim Kisim says to the Chita, I hear that you 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 may for you're learning Tater Barabim. They're gonna they're gonna kill you for it. You better stop it. So Chinnah ends is. So he answers him back. And the Gemara doesn't state what the Rebbechina answers him back. Interesting, it's an interesting conversation there. In other words, the Rebbechina said, I, I, this is the way it has to be. You have to let him tell you to keep it going. I'm talking about Yechid Mesir Snafesh. Mordechai, 
brought out the Mesidas through the Mesidas Nafis, I brought the Munda in the Abish to Rasisa Mitzvah. He brought him out through Mesidas Nafis. When you find yourself doing Mesidas Nafis, you know Mesidas Nafis, that is what we're talking about now. That's Taki and, Yichidah. And, 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 and this is what it means. Living with Mashiach doesn't just mean, it means doing the mitzvahs, starting with Avish Yisrael and Tzedakah, and, and, and doing it with hide and Seichel. If, if you find your Seichel is, is blocking you, then you then you have to ask yourself, am I taka serving the Abish? I'm serving myself. So Rabbi Chaninia, when Tanya asked Rabbi Yisrael and Kisma, tell me, did, did, um, did, um, am I, I going to have him have so he started telling him, tell me a mice that happened with you. So he says, a mice, put him, he had a, he, money got mixed up over there. So he gave all his money he had away for, 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 for the, for, for the Anim. Question is, as I thought of it, it's a question of Shaila. had a question, if you want to have He was a person, a tzaddik, who, a tzaddik, who was, who was, um, maybe it's a tzaddik, but I'm saying it's nefesh. I'm one of seven, why will you have a question if you've been in Havah? And then the Chesik just says, if that's the case, then Mitamol Vetam Rechko, he gave away money by putting Mitamol, and Mitamol says, I'll have I'll be in your, with you, Nilam Habo. What happened over here? Very clear, very simple, really simple. The Chinev Tradin was questioning himself if his learning was coming because he had Mother Shreda, and he liked to learn. And I may be oversimplifying it, but, but I can follow him, it's not oversimplifying. I think it's very accurate. He didn't, and, and so in order to figure out, so he wasn't sure where it's coming. Imagine. Because there could be a hidden ra in him that, that he's doing the parsha of the like a person. So he, that, how do you find out what's really happening in your heart? So yes, and tell me your story, Maisa. Two out of the can. Tell me a Maisa habolu yachol. Tell me something that you did, and I'll tell you who you are. So so he says, yeah. As a matter of fact, I said, put him. I gave I gave away money. So, because giving out money, Marashkhaira, a Marashkhaira person does not give out money. A Marashkhaira person is an invert, is in the Bible with himself. And, 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 and so, we made it, but uh, uh, somebody who's Bufaz of money is somebody who's a Marashkhaira, an outgoing person. So, it's when made it, you can see by a person being able to handle two types of Aveda, Sai Marashkhaira, Sai Marashkhaira, Zaraya, as the Kumt from Hacher. And the mind of this about das, but they say the same, the same, the same, the same minion. The idea is, tell me a story of V left of us two stone, I'll tell you where you're holding. If you do, what's the question? Nobody's questioning anybody's, anybody's, uh, the, uh, this or the dedication to the, uh, the same Hashem. If the will listen, if who's the come, does it come because that's you, that's why you're naturally inclined to do things, or you're doing it with sad, you're you're doing it with yourself. So whatever says, the emes, what's emes mean? Yechid is emes. When yechid comes out in the pool of emes, and what you see, you see, you see when your person is also, this is all, all is spoken about the Rebbe's Mamorim. When you see, when you regard the yechid is nefesh, which is the etzem, so, that, so then the world around you changes. You're talking about how do you affect the world. Everybody here was talk, told to speak only about how did you change yourself. But really, you, when you change yourself in such a way, by living with your chiddush of nefesh, then you're not only changing yourself; everybody around you changes. And right, I, can, I can testify to you the same thing that that um, around me, the one of the biggest listen. I was eight and a half years in, in a very very rough place. Ma- many of the years I spent with very very dangerous people. Once or twice, it, 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 they just reminded me where I was. It was very, but never ever got hurt in Hakert. They had the biggest Hakert for me. And for, for us, I, what about me? I had their chedes. I wasn't giving them any money. I didn't give them. I, I, I was never extorted. I didn't give them anything. But I, when I, I remember she saw this. When you live with Yechida, what we learn? Then not only are you changed, and you brought Mashiach into your life, you you, you went out of Yak Bolas, The world around you changes along also. How can you tell if living with Yechida? Doctor, right? And and uh, and I see uh, the time flies by in Fabring like this. So I wanted to share one more thing, a, a small anecdote that happened over there. There was two Yidden. One of the Yidden I I I I, uh, I encountered over there. He came in. He was very very depressed. But then I had the kids in the short short term. I started learning started learning with him uh, Tanya. And um, in addition to everything else, I learned with everybody. I, 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 this 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 guy was he was far out. So I got to know him a little bit, and I got to know he he, he was involved in this case with somebody else over there. The two Eden, in this story is two Eden. Without giving too many details, so you have to know who they are. So the um, 
um, he had a saying, he had, got very involved with, he was trying very hard to get out of prison the legal way. Uh, so he, he was doing his, his, his uh, motions about this, uh, talking to his father, you go through all the papers and you try to find in you know, that the government did to, to, to violate your rights. And he was for years, he was much into every aspect of his case, back and forth, and back. And he had a saying, the saying was, I have no time for you. If you have time, if what you're gonna tell me is gonna help me get out of prison, I'll listen to you, whatever you want them to do. But if it's not that, I'm dedicated now until I get out with, with, with this union. What happens? The Abish, uh, what happened was he, him and this other guy got into a fight. And how did I know about it? <laughs> I wish I had time to say the whole thing. But not on this. So one, one of them comes over to me, tells me they, they got into a squabble and they couldn't talk to each other. And the person was in danger. These two fought, was in danger for both of them. And, but they got so heated up against each other that, that notwithstanding by them fighting, they could both stay in Golos and they could both be not for Bagrom de Fever. So I tried to appeal to them. So listen, guys, you gotta get. So they hit me. I'm gonna use the same words he always used on him. I say to him, you know, the other guy came to me and told me about what happened. We have to make peace. So he says, I don't want to hear. Bah, 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 bah. If I tell you what it was about, was the lachen of the Aniyas. There's my goalless. I say, Blaise so you're for saying that Aniyas Naval the Aniyas makes him makes makes him ugly. So. So I said, listen, before you get into anything, let me just tell you something. You have a saying that if it's something that's gonna help me get out of here, are you ready to hear? If it's something which is not, I don't wanna hear. I tell you, listen, stop what you're fighting and think about it. You guys are gonna fight, you're both gonna wind up being here. How is your fighting gonna help you get out of here? And that's, and that is exactly what you stop fighting. So I wanted to share with my, my, my dear brothers and sisters over here the same tonight. I want to, today, tonight, as, as the Iker is, to consider Mishpacha, you have to have his role. You have to know, yeah, they have designed Chuns on their fish. One guy's pulling to the right, one guy's pulling to the other side, the right. There's two rights. Everybody's right. Of the Iker, if you have to ask yourself, is this disagreement or this different view is going to help us out of goals? Then it was one thing. But if this is disagreement, is if we're both going to be Bagrovim and Golos, we must And that is, whatever finishes off the Sikha. And he says, I'm going to make you to be my design. Listen to Sikha, I listened to Sikha many times. I didn't have to until later that this is that, that the, before I speak that said that that was echter the Sikha. The Rebbe finishes off to be my maher. I'm going to make you all shluchim mitzvah. I don't know. I look for the English translation. They take it to shluchim. I don't know why they do it. A shliach means as a kech and a shaleach. Baby, sure. Everybody looks at it. The Rebbe says, I give you my heart. The Rebbe has that with us. The, a mitzvah is the keich do the mitzvah. The very fact that the Rebbe, in the same sikh, we said, the Rebbe says, I'm making now a shliach to do a mitzvah. Not that he's tam, but at the stage between shlichas, that means the Rebbe never left, never said that he, he's not with us. The Rebbe never said that we don't have keiches to do anything. from 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 so, so, so we have to remember that, and that's how you do the simcha. And we are going to evolve. We are going to sing the and we're going to get out of goals. And it should be today. And 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 so, and we have to live. It's a, it should never be possible. The fact that we're staying goals, a day finishes, and we're still in goals. You have to answer what happened. Why we're still here, and then correct everything. It was very to everybody to see our good shleimah. Now she's again the chaim, the